guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Here is an update on all my flowering trees. This is a Meyer lemon tree. And behind that are my grapes. They're growing beautifully. You can see some grapes starting. These are the muscovine grapes. This tree right here is a plum tree. I planted that and it was probably about maybe three feet high and it's really blossomed. This is my Macintosh tree. And I do have one Macintosh apple right there. Along with another one right here. Really looks good. This tree also was only about three feet tall, and that really blossomed. I have another one. This is a Dorset apple. I have plenty on here. more blossoms. I got a lot of fruit on this tree. This is my peach tree. All the trees I planted were basically about three feet tall. This one really blossomed. No peaches yet this year, but I had them last year. That's my grapefruit tree. I have a lot of grapefruits on there. It is one way at the top. I have no idea how I'll reach that one. There's a grapefruit right at the top. Couple more right there. This is another peach tree. No peaches on this one. And this is another Dorset apple. I planted a couple of crepe myrtles and they really blossomed. I love crepe myrtles. I started some more grapes. These were probably about four inches tall. And look at how big they've grown. 
and we put up a fence so that my dogs don't come back here for the grapes. I have one dog that loves to dig. This is a key lime tree. And this one's another plum tree. My blueberries are still looking good, but there's no more blueberries on them. It's the season has gone. Next year, I know I'll have plenty of blueberries. I keep my blueberries all screened in because of the birds. For some reason, they go after my blueberries, and I don't know why. Everything that grew here as far as my tomatoes, peppers, and everything that I had in the ground, I uh, dug up already. So we'll be cleaning out the area again and replanting. So this mesh that we put down was really good. No weeds really came through at all. We got this off of eBay. So this black matting that we put down to keep the weeds down, it really works good. We got it off of eBay. Our raspberries are really taken off. We cloned a couple of them and it's the first three that you see right here. And we really had a lot of raspberries this year. We put up these sticks with the wire to have all the vines intertwine on them and it really helped out the raspberry bushes this year. And inside our garden, we are cleaning out our pipes right now. So there's really nothing to show you on the inside because everything's empty. This is our compost pile. We use this for when we plant inside the ground. So that's looking good. So if you're ever looking for the black mesh, I mean we got it off of eBay and I mean this is really a good one. And this is about it for the garden for now. So I just wanted to update you. I know Linda from Linda's Pantry wanted to see an update. So as soon as I get the garden started, then I'll have another video to show you. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. It really means a lot to me. Please follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and hit the like button, and especially iFood.tv. I'll see you all next video. Bye-bye.